when we think about big investments for Saudi Arabia, obviously you guys have a new football club. It's all very exciting. What other kind of investments like that do you foresee? I mean, this is obviously this is PIF because it's a trophy asset. PIF investment, and and I think uh, basically, as they said, they are they are investing in the club, but they are also investing in the community, in the academy, in in, in the stadium itself. Um, but it's also you know touching the people uh, and reaching out to people. But there are more and more investments. We are investing a lot in technology, and I've I've talked about this before. We we neglected for decades technology, and since 15, we started really leapfrogging that and investing heavily in technology around the world, from the United States to China. Uh, and we are investing in e-gaming, um, so a lot of a lot of investment there. We are investing in coding, and you know our young talents who are, are really, really seriously technology savvy are now going in, into that direction. We are investing in cybersecurity, which is a serious threat to the world. So we wanted to make sure that we are also prepared. So there is a lot of investments generally that is globally seen, but then there are a lot of investments locally. I mean, PIF is mandated to invest north of 150 billion a year between now and 2030. What, where they are investing? They are investing in housing, they are investing in um, manufacturing, they are investing in agriculture, the, you know, diverse um, investments locally to make sure that we also create jobs uh, that we need for our young talents. Back to the football, though. This is all very exciting. The, when you think about it, um, there has been the suggestion raised that there are new rules within these clubs that essentially mean that the state can't sponsor um, big ticket clubs. For example, Vision 2030 is not allowed to sponsor um, the team. There's been a suggestion that Saudi Airlines would be able to do that, Saudi Is that going to happen? Because it does seem as if Saudi Arabia is putting all of its might behind this investment. No? I think, again, as I said, this is one investment among so many. Um, I don't know the technicalities, obviously, of the association in, in um, the UK. Uh, but I would say that you know, if people are, are worried about competition in, 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 uh, amongst clubs, uh, and particularly now that we have invested in one of them, possibly that's a good sign that there is a potential serious competitor coming their way, which is good for the whole football community. So it's good. Uh, sponsorship particularly, I think we do sponsorship uh, not only with clubs that we own. We do sponsorship with different clubs and with different events and different for forums. So. I think if, you know, there will be plenty of opportunities for sponsors and plenty of opportunities for the clubs. You think Newcastle is going to win the next game? I hope they will. You're a betting man. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't follow football, but uh, I could tell you that I, I, you know, I wish they would see the ambition come through. And I'm, I'm really confident that with, with um, uh, investments coming their way and the community and the stadium, I think we would see uh, an enhanced club. 